the told you that official well, the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office says they believe they have found the body of a missing teenager yesterday morning. We told you that officials were searching for 14-year-old Vinsley Maxman. He was last seen Wednesday near Royal Palm Beach Recreation Center. And right now, deputies are saying that they did find a body in the canal near Crestwood Middle School in Royal Palm Beach. That's just half a mile away from a recreation center. And the Palm Beach County's Sheriff's Office tells us they believe it could be that young teenager, but they are not confirming any identity at this time. Of course, this is a developing story. We'll keep you updated as we learn more. Before I actually get into this story, let me give a shout out to um, Trill Tech. Anniversary. Okay. Sorry about that. Let me give a shout out to uh, Trill Texas FBA Forever for sending me the story. Now, here's how this story even came about and at least brought to my attention. I had posted up the video about Charles Brown, who was the 18 year old who was found dead in the lake. And I said in a tweet, this is like the fourth story I've talked about this year of a black male being found in a body of water. And now I guess we can add number five to this list. And I said to somebody else, it's weird because they're getting younger and younger. And this boy is 14. Charles Brown was 18. I did this. I'm still doing an ongoing story with uh, Kawan Charles, who was 15. You had Jelani Day and the other one, I forget his name at the moment, who was found in November, who were both 24. Now, look at that. Look at all of these patterns here. All of these black males are under the age of 30 and the youngest right now is 14 and they were all found in bodies of water because a canal is where uh, is another uh part where a body of water can be found i don't know about you but my spidey sense has been tingling like heavy when it comes to these stories right here like something weird is really going on where there are constant um, bodies to be found of black males and they all get found in water or somewhere where water would be located no matter if it's a deep amount of water or if it's shallow water is near now this kid is only or was only 14 years old now they said that he was last seen on december 22nd at 4 45 p.m in the royal palm beach recreation center he was wearing a navy blue t-shirt black pants and gray shoes and apparently um he was found on christmas day because this um this audio that you just heard came out on december 26th which is the day i'm recording this of course it'll be a couple days later once i upload the video you know leave it some space just in case some more information comes along but something really weird is really going on here. And it's like, I don't really have the answers here. Someone has suggested or typed in the comment section of the Charles Brown video that they said they wouldn't be surprised if it's cops involved with this. And you know what? With as shady as these MFers are, I wouldn't be in the least bit surprised. It's just, it's just very weird to me that, that like it's, hop, it's happening more frequently now. And lamestream media is not really talking about it. This was this is a local story that came out of Florida, which, by the way, the one that I talked about in November, he was found in Florida. Charles Brown, his was Georgia. Jelani Day, I believe, was in Illinois. Kawan Charles, he was in Louisiana. And all of those places, probably with the exception of Georgia, for the most part, are known for bodies of water, especially Florida and Louisiana. I'm just saying something is really, really eerie going on here. And I'm trying to put the pieces together without frying my brain. But if y'all can think of anything, please let me know, because this is I'm literally trying to wrap my head around this now they said that th that they haven't confirmed whether or not that this is him or not but they saying that they believe it probably is him so if i get some more information what i'll do is i'll come back on here and add it in whether or not it was him or not that's why i'm giving myself a couple days in between 
Because right now, all they're saying in, in different sources is that they said body found in canal on Christmas believed to be missing suited. They're not confirming that it is, but they're saying that it most likely is him. I'm even seeing now another story from this website called Boca News Now, where the article says police say body is missing student. Like they're saying that um, that it's been confirmed that it is him and this article was posted seven hours ago on the same day they're saying that it's him so yeah, it's something like i said it's something very weird and what's crazy is that all the times that they go missing it seems to me like they're always by themselves they're not with anybody with the exception of kawan charles he was with people that's why his case has a little bit more legs to it um but with the other ones that I've talked about, they're always seemingly by themselves. And by, when I say by themselves, I'm talking about there is no person around that they seem to really know like that, so to speak. Or people that they're most likely just acquaintances with, but people not like a family member or in a responsible adult or anything like that. So my thing is they are by themselves in the sense of they probably don't know the surroundings in which they are at and they are alone and whoever is with them most likely possibly could have set them up. Remember he's on this kid. It was only 14, 14. He's so far the youngest one I've talked about. The one that I talked about back in November, his was even, um, even more scary because you know, his, his, I think his, they said he called his mom or his mom called him and he was, telling them that he didn't know where he was at. And then all of a sudden the phone went dead and they couldn't get back in contact with him. And then the next thing you know, he turned up dead. But yeah, it's just something very weird going on here. This actually now is going to be now like on my, I'm going to have to throw this onto my soft targets list just on this alone. This is like the fifth person this year that I've talked about who has gone missing and, and came up deceased in a body of water. It's something very weird going on, and I'm trying. I'm like I said, I'm trying to wrap my mind around the situations, and uh, and I don't expect mainstream media to really talk about this because why would they? I would be surprised if this even made it to CNN. But y'all, let me know what y'all think. 